It's not your imagination. You really do get more robocalls living here than anywhere else. In fact, one recent survey found that Floridians get four times as many spam calls than any other state. And now, some experts say it's only going to get worse. Hi, it's Crystal Allen following up with your refund. Whether it's the robocalls like this one promising a tax refund or the spam texts, some of them trying to scam you. A recent report by the consumer group Customer Service Number found Florida residents received by far the most spam calls in the country. Florida is the capital of spam and scam, and it's going to get a lot worse. Zach Zermay is a consumer lawyer in Fort Myers who specializes in robocalls and spam. He says lawmakers have worked in the past to dramatically cut down on the number of robocalls, including passing legislation in 2021 that banned some companies from using automated systems to make robocalls without permission from the person on the other end of the phone. And it seems to have worked. The Federal Trade Commission says Floridians complained about robocalls 388,000 times in 2021. But by 2022, there was a 45% drop in the number of complaints. Talk to consumers, talk to their voters, and ask them whether or not they uh, support more robocalls and spam or uh, less robocalls and spam. And I think the um, resounding response will be that um, they want less of it. Zermay fears those protections are going away. In May, Governor DeSantis signed new legislation that critics argue would allow companies to make even more robocalls. But supporters, like the Florida Retail Federation, say those consumer protections are still there and that the new law cuts down on the number of people who can file lawsuits against businesses for calling them. The 2021 bill had a lot of great consumer protections in it. This bill does not change that. And what it really does is help retailers know what they can and cannot do when communicating with current and future customers. If you want to crack down on these types of robocalls, Zermay encourages you to sign up for the Do Not Call list. You can also file a complaint with the Attorney General's Office and the Federal Communications Commission. There are remedies and, um, you know, there's only one way to stop the tides of spam and it's through those avenues. And so I'd encourage um, Floridians to go ahead and do that. The new law does still keep the Florida do not call list. So make sure you sign up for that if you don't want to receive robocalls. But Zermay warns companies still find ways around it. Ryan Kruger, Fox 4 Investigates.